About a few months ago, Oculus announced the V72 update for their Oculus headsets, which includes better hand tracking, a few other things, but most importantly, the ability to use your Windows PC from within the headset, like virtual desktop. Now sadly, they are currently rolling this out to people, but not everyone has the update yet, including me, meaning that I have to do what I do best, which is finding a temporary alternative without having to spend $25. Now the app used today is named Immersed. It's an application that allows you to do what virtual desktop allows you to do, but $25 cheaper. You can use your Windows PC with up to three individual displays without really any latency. Let's start. Now first you wanna to go to this website, immersed.com, and then scroll down until you find Download Desktop Agents. Now, I'm not gonna go through all of these setup, so all you need to do is click one of these, whatever system you're using, if you're using Linux, click Linux, and so on. In this video, I am showing how to do this on Windows 10, so click Windows 10, go to the setup, and then it will ask you to sign in. I will go over to the Oculus setup, and I will show you how to set all of that up but once you have this application installed you then want to open it now once opened you won't see this just yet because you will need to sign in but once you go through the sign in phase then you should see this now this warning right here is just because I already have two monitors and that causes issues with this because the immersed application depends on just one monitor so having two would just cause issues as it says here so this is really just made for people who only have one monitor to use if you do have two just like me you want to either detach one of them using the one click detach or you can actually unplug it or you can do how I did and just test your luck for me it works for you you may run into issues if so just temporarily unplug the monitor and then you should be fine now on your headset all you want to do is go to the store and then search immersed click on it and then install once it's done installing just click start and for you guys it'll actually put you in a public lobby i'm not sure why that's the first thing that it does but yes it will put you in a public lobby first but once you've set everything up you should land here you can move everything you can set it to curved or not. So for instance, if I was to go here, I can change it from curved or I can set it completely flat. I personally like it curved, so I'll keep it at curved, but you can change it to whatever you want. You can also add one more screen. Now, the thing about this application is, although it is free, you will have limitations. This does not come free. So you will only have up to, I'm pretty sure 1080p, that's the highest quality you can have, which to be honest, that's not that bad. And then you can only have up to three screens, which again, that also isn't that bad. So for instance here, if I was just to add screen, you'll see that it'll ask me if I wanna add another display, I'll say yes. And then once that's done, my PC will do the little chime because technically it is adding something else. And you'll see over here, it is right here. So I can move this up here. And now you can see that I currently have one, two, and three. Now this will have a little bit of latency depending on how good your PC is or how well of a connection you have from your headset to your PC. But to be honest, I've had better connection with this than Oculus Link Wireless. You see here, the latency is not too bad. I move my hand now. It's really not horrible. Yeah, that's pretty much it. If you do want to tune a few things, you can see here, you can change some things here. You can disconnect, you can use controller input. So I think that might mean that if you want to actually use your controllers to click on the screen, this will do that. But you can also do USB wire, which is also cool. And this might be a better way to do it if you want better quality and no lag. But again, I actually haven't had many issues with any latency or any lag like I do with Oculus Link Wireless. And yeah, that's pretty much it.